Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I just want to jump on because we're going to do a little recap of chapter three. So yesterday you read the chapter called Where is Mrs. Hirsch? All right. So I know that Miss Davis did a video for you yesterday um, talking about like the timeline of what's happening with the war and how it's progressing. So just to summarize yesterday's reading, we had Amory, right, was asked to go to Mrs. Hirsch's shop, right? And Mrs. Hirsch sells buttons and thread. And Anne-Marie needed to get a button so that her mom could sew it on to Kirsty's jacket. Now, when she went to the shop, the shop was actually closed. There was a new padlock, right, a new lock on there, so she couldn't get in. And there was a sign on the door, and the sign was in a different language, right? The sign was in German. And if you remember, the language of Denmark is Danish, which is the language that Anne-Marie and Ellen and all of the characters speak. They speak Danish. But the soldiers are from Germany, and they speak German. So as the war is progressing... We saw in chapter one that these soldiers were on all of the street corners, okay? Now, these soldiers are coming into Denmark and they're trying to take over because they, they're, they do not like people that believe in the Jewish religion, okay? So they, are, they don't like Jews. So now what they're doing is they are closing down any stores and shops that are run by Jewish people and Mrs. Hirsch was Jewish so she was no longer allowed to keep her store open and they closed it and they put a sign on the door and the sign was written in German okay so that was like recapping chapter three today I want to teach you about for chapter four um, I want to teach you about perspective okay so when you're reading I want you to picture today that you're in Ellen's shoes now something is going on with Ellen and with her parents, and Ellen is going to be visiting Anne-Marie. And I want you to just imagine that you're in her place. I want you to think of how would you feel if this situation, I'm not going to tell you the situation because you're going to be reading it in a minute, but I want you to picture how you would feel if you were Ellen on this particular night. Would you feel scared? Would you feel frightened? Maybe nervous? Maybe you might feel brave, okay? So I want you to think about that and just picture how she is feeling and how you would feel and maybe how you think it would be to be living in this time in Denmark in 1943, okay? So those are some things that I want you to think about today as you read chapter four. And I can't wait to jump on next week and see how you guys enjoyed it, all right? So don't forget to do the comprehension questions today, and you have vocabulary as well. Any questions, you can always email me, and you'll be seeing me again next week. Bye. Have a great weekend.